So, Estrio is comped out behind the bar stand. Hmm. That's good news. Yeah. And Batiste and Garmok are... Like, uh... Batiste is standing over, is watching over him. But, like, Batiste, he kind of... He looks at Estrio and to make sure, and then he kind of nods to Garmok. And Garmok kind of just starts walking away. And so, like, he looks straight at the at the lady. And it's like, I know why you're here. You want him for some reason. What is your reason? There is no reason. Having a drinking game. And that's so, it. like, he slams his fist on the table. It's like, you know, it's not good to lie to me. Lying. That's not very nice to accuse a lady of lying. <laughs> and it's like, it's, uh, you, know, you smell uh, you smell like him. You smell like the doctor. You may think you can mm. hide it, but you can't. Not from us. Not well, I visited war, him a few days ago. So what? He, well, she visited him a few days ago. For an no, appointment. It's like, you, that smell isn't just something you pick up off of him. We have, he hasn't been around in a few days. So that means you might, you're either one of his shapeshifters, or... And yeah. it's like, in, it's like in the end, it doesn't matter. What matters is, what do you want with him? And he's, he's pointing at Estrio. Nothing. Okay. Just here to drink. It's like, then I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Hmm, who owns this establishment? Okay. It's like me and him. We both do. I really? have as much sway as he does. Really? I'd like to hear that from him, the true owner. And so he leans down and is like, hey, Estrio. Uh, and he kind of... Uh, and it's like, he's kind of incapacitated at the moment. Hence the point. Okay. He can't say shit. It's like... And it's like, you're just proving more and more that you're one of the doctor's agents, because you're using his logic. How so? I mean, you, the owner can't talk. It's like, oh, so. <laughs> he's like, oh, come on. How many other, it's like, there's not many of us that reason like this in this town. So? so. People are different. It's like, how long are you going to keep this act up? Well, I'm not keeping any act up. Yeah, so... And so, like, he, he looks over at Garmok, and Garmok starts coming back. It's like, um... It's like, are we going to have to do this the easy way, or are we going to do this the hard way? Hmm. Again, that's not nice to threaten the lady. And so, he's like, uh, Garmok, can you please see the lady out? So, he's asking nicely. I mean, he doesn't want it to go to violence. And you can see that, you know... Although he keeps saying all that, like, they're not drawing weapons, he's not doing threatening gestures. It's like, they just want him to get out. Or get her to get out. Hmm. Alright then. And so, like, he shouts, and then he, he kind of sides, it's like, Seven, you can come in now. He's not doing anything. He's waiting. So, it's like, I know you're outside. <laughs> so, it's like, Batista's like, I know you're outside. Silently walks away. What, her? Yeah. And so, like, he, he just kind of groans. And it's like, uh, alright, fine. And then he just goes back to doing uh, what he was doing. At that point, he they just he stops caring. It's like, that was it. Just... They have windows on the second floor down there. Yeah, they have windows on the second floor. Hmm. Good. Makes it a little more convenient to get in there. <laughs> I'll have these two. Yeah. Well, D100, see if it can actually... Did he improve his security since you last were there? No. You guys are easily able to just get in the same place. I mean, getting better security, plus it's not very welcoming. I mean, like, if you have, like, bars on the window and locks on your window, it's not very <laughs> welcoming to people. It's supposed to be open... Like, he's trying to make an open and free establishment. Oh, uh, that's what might kill him. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's, um... So, you can't really overhear that. Like, they're talking, but you can't really hear their conversation. You're too far away. Hmm. Let's see. Let's waltz on in. Okay. And have them climb in the window. <laughs> on the second floor. Okay, so Oprah's right there. And it's like, I didn't even ask... <laughs> so he's like, he's calm and collected. It's like, I didn't even ask that much. I just asked, what did you want with him? Hmm. 
nothing. It's like, oh, then why did you have your clone pawn whatever engage him in a drinking contest to get him unconscious? I want to see how much he could handle. It's like, why did it just like, you're lying to me? And it's pretty obvious that you're lying to me. I'm not lying to nobody. That's not very nice. It's like, you're working for her, aren't you? I work for nobody. It's like, you say that, but everything, you wouldn't be here without a reason. Despite you having random reasons, you're usually here for a purpose. Well, I mean, he had a contract. That's yeah. like, it's not, it's probably, it has nothing to do with his contract. You weren't the only one that the... read that note. Well, still, he's the one who gave the contract. Yeah. No, he's talking, remember that note you sent? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like, he right. wasn't the only one that read the note. It was Batiste and, and Garmok also read the note, so they know what's going on. Well, he wouldn't want to negotiate, so I'd think come in person. Okay. It's like, no, it's like, I have a feeling you're not here to negotiate. I have a feeling that you're here to kidnap him for some reason. Hell no. Okay. That's not nice. I mean, you're assuming things. Okay. It's like, assumptions have kept me alive this long. I'm not about to stop. Wait on the stairs over here. Okay, so... So they're both up there. Yeah. Well, actually, no, they can just dig through the floor. Fuck it. <laughs> so, yeah, like, Opry, you can probably do both. Like, Strom's the type, she doesn't like being underground, so she's gonna be up on the balcony. Like, she's just casually leaning down, just looking at the scene below with a wide grin on her face, and Opry's, like, in the back, in the cellar, like, back against the wall, in the door frame. They're on the side of the door frame in case she needs to just burst through the door. And then Freefa's just outside. Yeah, Freefa's Waiting. just outside. She's casual. <laughs> like, she's just standing there at the door, looking at the door in case she needs to burst in. Hmm. So. Well, you see, I'm not trying to really negotiate, just tell him the terms. But, you know, he's incapacitated. Clearly. What term? It's like, you know, you could have just talked to him. I mean, he was, he was more sentient before you had your, your thing drink him into a coma. But it's more funny this way. Plus, I want to see what he likes. It's like, ugh, fine. Well, what do you want? Or are we just going to run around in circles all day? Well, that was pretty much it. Okay. To tell him the terms. It's like, and that's it. It's like, it just, uh, <laughs> so he, he kind of laughs and it's like, we're back at the same point then. You wanted to tell him terms. He's in no way to actually hear the terms. So you're going to tell a man who is unconscious terms that he can't really understand. Doesn't sound like a very good conversation. Well, it's not supposed to be a conversation. It's a one-way okay. thing. That's it. It's still okay, but it comes back to the same thing. You're avoiding this, so he, he understands. You're avoiding the question. It's, what do you want? <laughs> and I told him exactly what I want. It's like, but that can't be the truth. It's There's no way you just wanted him to meet you in the middle of nowhere. You're going to take him somewhere. No. I mean, that's where the people were at. It's yeah. the only logical location to meet. It's at like, their what own people? Base. The people of the forest. I didn't get their names, for Christ's sake. I just got yeah. the terms. That's like, and then he, he goes, he's got a wide grin. It's like, I thought it was mountain people. I don't know. Mountains, forest, it's the same shit. They live in a it's bunch like, of... Well, then it makes houses. more sense that you made this up. <laughs> How so? I don't take details of stupid monkey people. Okay, so... That's like, that doesn't sound like the doctor I know. But you don't know... You take that. every detail. At least from the observations. Yes, I didn't have time to observe. I wanted to get back. It's like, uh... So... I think it's pretty much Batiste has your number, and you're trying to you're trying to outwit him, but he's pretty firm that you're trying. He's pretty firm, and you're trying to deceive him. Oh, actually. <laughs> okay, so, so I mean, you have to try and deceive him in another way that's not currently what you're doing. Hmm. Let's say. Look over there. <laughs> Would that actually work? Let's see. D100. <laughs> well, my D100s are acting up. So. It's not so much that. It's that you are... You're talking with them, right? Hold on, let's yeah. see. So, what they didn't notice is that Estria has already been taken. 
Because <laughs> remember, Opry's in the door frame. So what you're doing is uh, you're talking with them and running them in circles to run interference. And then she slips him away. Yeah, she slips in and just uh, picks him up casually and just kind of, but kind of brings him through the tunnel. All right, excellent. Okay. Can she gag and tie him up? Uh, she's not going to. Not unless you get there. I mean, for now, she's just carrying him like he's a rag doll. Okay, we'll have her bring her, him back to the tank, okay, and then we'll so, tie him up. So you're just here. Are you t giving the order for everyone else to just back off and get to positions in the tank to leave immediately? Yeah. Okay, so you just send just the mental order. Like you don't even move. You don't have to move or anything. They can pick up your thoughts. So. Like, that's why Strom was just watching. Like, she was paying attention to the tactical scene just to make sure everything went off without a hitch. <laughs> Fuck. I didn't think that so would work. So she, um, <laughs> she was watching everything. Like, she she saw Opry just kind of pick him up and move him out. Slip right through. <laughs> so... All right, just keep distracting them for now. Keep them running in circles until everything is prepared. Okay, um, <laughs> let's see, did he know, so they didn't notice him get taken, but, it's like, just know that, you know, it's not going to be a very big loss if we lose him. As much as he holds himself on high esteem, it's just, you know, everyone has their moment, everyone has their time of passing. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> okay, so... And it's like, uh, and so like he's uh, he's got like a crooked smile. It's like just make sure he doesn't come back if he does decide to die out there. Huh. Will so, do. It's like <laughs> it's like what you didn't think I just let you take him, did you? I have to at least so it's like I have to at least look like I'm trying to stop you. Eh, uh, sure. I get that, but it's okay. Everything's okay. okay. It's like, well, if we have if our business is concluded, then uh, you should be on your way. It's not safe around this time of night. Yeah, I'm not worried about safety. Yeah. And you, you can tell he's being sarcastic, because <laughs> like he, he's pre he pretty much enabled everything that happened, and Garmok did too. Looks like they want the bar. <laughs> uh, that's what you think, but uh, they don't like they haven't revealed the motive of why they allowed it to happen. Maybe they're trying to take over everything. Who knows? Uh -huh. Oh well. So what are you gonna do? I'm gonna fuck right off. <laughs> okay, so they basically allowed it to happen. I mean, like uh, they kind of knew what was up. Maybe even Estrio knew what was up, but you don't know for sure. Well, he's drunk. Yeah. So <laughs> he's a little messed up right now. Yeah, so he's actually not drunk. Oh. So, That's disappointing. So like he's uh. He's pretty much in, like, he's on the bridge of the tank. He's not really a prisoner. He's just kind of standing there looking out. But you can tell, like, there's something wrong. Normally he's cheerful, but now he's, like, not. I mean, like, I think he know. does he know what's coming? So he has a general knowledge of what might be happening to him right now. Oh, he has nothing. Yeah. He's going to have some fun. So, like, you pro, like, you see that, you know, Freefa's there. They, everybody's getting prepped. Hope really, like, uh... Strom just kind of gives you a wave as you approach the tank. Because mm. she's just, you know, she always does the same thing. She's, she's uh, casually just lying down on the top of the tank. She just raises an arm and waves, but she doesn't really care to look in your direction. <laughs> so you can sense you. She doesn't have to actually look in your direction. We got radar. Okay, Oprah's yeah. in the gun deck. She's priming the, the cannon and stuff in case you need to fire it. And she's making sure all the armaments are prepared. Freefa's on the command deck. She's she's uh, piloting the tank, and then Estrio's just standing off to the side, on the on the command deck. Did we tie him yet? We have to tie uh, him. Why do you have to tie him? Because I'm going to make him walk. Okay. <laughs> so hold up. What is Freefa? Well, I have to wait for the dice roll. So Freefa Freefa did not see the need to tie him up, nor does she approve of that. It's like remember, we have to return him intact. I don't see the attack. need for pointless torture. It's not pointless. It's like, what oh, the then fuck? what is the purpose of this? Uh, what is the purpose of making him walk all that distance? For fun. Okay. It's like, I don't agree with your fun. <laughs> At least not that fun. A lot of people don't. What's the point? 
<laughs> it's like the point is we were given a mission, and the mission said he needed to be remain relatively intact. He's going to be intact somewhat. Pot, yeah. It's like, do you really want to make this enemy? Do you really want an entire? It's like, <laughs> it's like, do you really want your daughter and her entire empire gunning for our heads? Why not? It's like Agreed. I, for one, do not want that. <laughs> Saying I, most of us agree. So that's three. It's so uh, it's like she's using logic. It's like that's a three-on-one vote. When the fuck did this become a democracy? <laughs> it's like since recently. Oh, so that's what you think. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, well... It's like, it's really up to... <laughs> it's like, if you want to tie him up and have him drag along, you're just going to have to do it yourself. Because, we, you know, we are going to choose not to do that. Huh. Right. Well, I guess I could invoke the master invoke slave master. thing. Okay. <laughs> Why? What do you mean? Force them to do it or cause severe Can pain. Can you via... actually? Steal 100. Ho ho. Shit. So, yeah, you, so you're going to force them to do it anyway. So, how exactly are you doing that? You're just exerting your will? Yes, and causing a shit ton of pain every time they resist. Okay, so. Uh, doesn't It doesn't happen for that long, though. Like, you exert your will and you see that, like, she kind of smiles and shakes her head. And it's like, you have not improved your tricks. You're growing soft. <laughs> you're growing soft in your dominance. Uh, what do I have to it's kill like, one of them? She was in pain for a little while. <laughs> it's like, do you always threaten to kill everyone that disagrees with you? Yeah, sort of. It's like I can see where your daughter it. got it from. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but the but the it's like but the the point still stands. I don't see the purpose of torturing him for no purpose but for your own amusement when we were tasked to bring him back alive. It just doesn't seem like, in terms of diplomacy and all the logic she's thinking of, it doesn't seem logical to her. Or to the rest of them. Of course not. Even it's someone not like Strom just sees, you know, if you're gonna torture them, torture them for a reason. Or if you're gonna torture them, kill them after. Oh, that's it's not like, for me to decide. They'd say she just sees, like, Strom is just, she likes to kill things. She doesn't, she doesn't agree with pointless torture. Oh, that's not very nice. Yeah. <laughs> I thought she was psychotic. She's psychotic, but not psychotic enough to enjoy torturing people. I mean, she's just, yeah. she wants to prove she's the strongest, and, you know, she can't do that if the target is alive. Okay, fine, we'll tie him to the barrel. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's pretty much, you know, she's not going to do any of that. So if you want to do it, you're going to have to do it yourself. Because no one under your I command is going her. to do that. <laughs> Shit. So are Fuck you going it, to do it yourself, tank. though? Okay. They want to play this game. We'll play this game. Okay. Just keep them in the tank. It's okay. Okay. And so she well, kind of smiles as like, you know, you could do that yourself, you know. You know all this stuff you're saying, if you really wanted to torture them, torture him, you could have just done it yourself. Hmm. I know I could have. That's no fun. That's like, uh... And <laughs> it's like, funny. I thought it was supposed to be fun, so... But yet, when it has to be your hand, it's not fun. That doesn't make any sense, but okay. Okay. That's uh, fine. Don't worry about it. It's like, and it's, it's like, I'm fine, it's like, uh, it's like, you're having a casual conversation in front of Astria, who you're considering, like, tying up and torturing, pretty much. And it's like, you know, for someone who just ate, like, women and children and tortured them to death, it's kind of funny that you're having an issue with personally tying this person up. <sighs> oh, that's good yeah. news. What's that? Well, who's the one most defiant in this case? That's all three of them. Remember, they're synapse. You're all they're all synapse linked. Good. I'll stab all three of them in the shoulder. <laughs> uh, they're not gonna have it. Oh good. So okay. it's like they just they don't they know that if they try to fight back they're gonna be they're gonna be well I mean you're in the main deck and you can only stab one of them in range so you try to stab at free fun she just kind of pushes you aside she doesn't even like really draw a weapon or anything yeah you know, they're Come used on. to it they're used to your attempts at trying to kill them <laughs> I'm not trying to kill them if I was trying to do that I'd just shoot them in the face. <laughs> yeah. 
it still comes down to the same thing. It's like they're used to they're they're used to being constantly threatened for their lives. Remember, they have to be here by being the strongest, and they're constantly being challenged for that position. So they know, like you are just an extra. That you are just along, just the same of everything else. <laughs> well, at least she's good enough to dodge it. Shit, yeah, she just doesn't. She's not going to just fall that easily. She didn't get where she did by being a pushover. Oh, this will make things a lot more interesting. Okay, so... Alright, let's drive this bitch all the way there. And it's like, <laughs> are we really going to go about playing this game, or are we actually going to do the mission we were assigned? <sighs> let's just go. I'll okay. deal with this shit later. Okay. Insubordinate fucks. <laughs> okay. That's like, you made us this way. If you didn't want us to think, you should have taken out our free will. Hmm. I guess I might. I don't know. It's like, well, if that, it's like, if you do try, we won't be around anymore. We'll just, you know, you'll be left to your own devices. Hmm. It's like, and then she kind of shrugs. It's like, eh, but you don't care. You never do. That's just who you there are. You go. Just know <laughs> that, you know, it's, uh, what is it? It's like, just know that. It's like, she's, she's prepping the tank and she's getting ready to go. It's like, just know that I'm not the only one thinking this. And that, you know, if you, if this does continue... You know, the rest of you might not have an empire to lead. Right. We'll see okay. about that. <laughs> and just like, uh... And she, you know, for the first time, she, like, she's standing... Remember, she's, like, a head and shoulders taller than you. And she's like, uh... Why? It's like, you're probably wondering why. It's because if you do betray us all, you know, the entire empire will turn on you and we will kill you. That's a guarantee. Ooh. It doesn't matter how many of us fall, you know. You can't take us all on. There's a lot That's more of us offer. than you think there are. <laughs> That's quite the offer. Okay, Shit. So. It's like, it's not, and she, she just, you know, it's not an offer, it's an ultimatum. And it's like, of course we're going to all die from that too, but it won't matter at that point. You're going to have us killed. You're going to try to kill us at, or enslave us or something anyway. So... So we lose one psychopath, what's the world going to care? So we all die, what's the world going to care? <laughs> They're not. Yeah. That's the perfect point. It's like, exactly, so killing you is not going to be any big problem. <laughs> Nor is it for me to kill them. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so it's pretty much mutual, <laughs> but she realizes, you know, same posturing. It's, they know you better than you think, and it's like, you know, same posturing, same thing. It's like, you can be threatened until it actually happens, and you just die... They know that you'll just take the same thing and you'll just reverse it and you'll just you'll run them in circles all the time. <laughs> so they're just gonna just say fuck it and let's actually just do what we need to do. <laughs> yeah. They learn quickly. That's not a good thing. Yeah. Of course they do. I mean they're they are part of you. They are inside your mind and you're inside theirs. And you've just been ignoring their thoughts most of the time. Guess I'll have to fix that. Okay. And it's like, but is it still in your control? That's the thing you have to question. Or have you already unleashed the bottle? Yeah, have you already unleashed the bottle of worms and there's no way to put it back? <laughs> we'll see. I have uh, plans. Uh, moving us case. to the world map. Yeah, but it all comes down to will those plans work? I have five plans. <laughs> yeah. have to fuck like I said, will time. any of those plans work? Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Uh, so let me realign us to... Now we're going back to Annabelle. Actually, we have to go underground for that one. Oh, so shit. it's really just her and she, her companion, under the earth. Under the sea, ba -da -ba -ba. It's not under the sea. Okay, so you arrive at the top... Do a D4. Which, part, which tunnel entrance are you going to end up in? There's a couple you could end up in. Okay, so fourth, which is top right. You know what I just realized? There's no fog of war on this map. Nope. Or is there? No, there's not. No, there's not. Oh, what? We got all the... We got all the cool stuff, but I'm not going to use it. Actually, let's try it out. I want to see how this works. The cool the stuff. Cool no, stuff. You, you have to do like specific walls for all of the lighting. Now watch this. 
Um, maybe not. <laughs> okay, never mind. That's a lot of extra work I just do not want to do right now. Okay, the whole dynamic lighting thing we'll just stick with. We'll just stick with what we got. So this is a very dark cave. You can sense the emanations of magic. Is it emanating from all the walls? The answer is no. So it's coming from a specific direction. Tahiti, it's a magical place. Okay. It's not even magical. Like, you're just seeing that there's, there's, a, there's something highly magical in the area. Okay. She, torch. Okay, so, so she pulls out a torch and there's enough light. Let's see, anything revealed? No. Onward. Hmm? Okay, so you just, which direction are you going? Uh, each path you have to do like, this is, there's two ways to go, so that's like a D2. This is just to see where the magic's emanating from. Is it going to be a long adventure or going to be a short adventure? Okay, so you have to continue to the forward, so it's not going to be short. So you look, you, you're, in, you're just in kind of a trance, figuring out where the magic is coming from. So you have to roll another D2, because there's more area. Two more paths. Now you have to go downwards, because that's where... And then it, I guess it terminates. So, you see a large chamber in front of you, D100. So, yes, you've actually found... Let's see, is it... Okay, that was easier. That was actually way too easy. It's a trap. Okay. Okay, so what am I looking at? Uh, damn, where did it go? Oh, villagers. Okay, so... Probably just gave it away, because I just said it out loud. I do a D100. Okay, this is about to get interesting. Mm hmm. So you hear like you hear a familiar voice. It's like, ah, I've been expecting you. Seriously, Ero? Seriously? Uh, it's like, oh no, I, I'm pretty sure I'm quite dead. Just um, I'm here momentarily. Okay. So it's um I, I hear you're looking for someone, and uh that someone is very nearby actually. You got a direction? So like he just um he just shifts a little bit and he looks to the right and you see that Pei is just kinda leaning against the wall over in the corner. I wave. Okay. So she looks up and she's, um... Arrow's like, he's beckoning you to come forward, like, near him. So are you gonna go, or are you gonna just stand there? Just stand there. Yeah, I moved closer. I'm not gonna okay, go so up this side. You can tell he's not, like, he's not fully there. He's a he's very... he's transparent. He's spiritual. But, uh, so, well, I, I knew you could you could sense magic. So I thought, you know, the easiest way for you to find her was to home in on my magical energy. And why exactly are you interfering this with this? In it's like, well, it's, like, it's because she asked me to. I turned to pay. Uh, I was like, oh, I, I guess I'll go back to what I was doing, which was uh, nothing. So he just uh, <laughs> he kind of does. Uh, it's like yada yada. My my time is really okay. <laughs> he just kind of just walks away and just leans against the wall. Have fun being dead. Uh, it's not as fun as you think. It's actually quite boring. 
So Pay's not Pay's moving. Not I mean, moving. like she's got her head down and she's just kind of leaning against the corner, arms crossed. Howdy. Okay, so, and he's like, uh, I would have figured you guys would come looking for me eventually. Yeah, you were correct. Okay. It's like, so what happens now? Yeah, I take it you know already all of what happened. Um, I just want some answers, really. Okay. It's like, I really have none to give. Oh, I have so many questions. Okay. So it's like, so it's like, well, are you gonna ask questions, or are you gonna? Um. So you stole the research, right? Um. Why'd you come here? Like, why'd you end up with the black dragons of all people? Um. It's like I thought they could help me, but I was wrong. They couldn't. Okay, um, they're still hunting like, uh, you? Like, uh, so, uh, she's saying, you know, I used it as a bargaining chip to get into the city. Why did you want to get into the city? It's like, because maybe they knew how to cure my condition. Maybe they were, uh, there was a way I could have children again. But even they say I can't. You didn't just ask Eero, and I sort of point over my shoulder to Eero. It's like, his research doesn't have anything relating to me. It has everything relating to a full dragon. Nothing about anything in between. Yeah, but it's a full dragon with a human that's still interspecies. Being just... It's like, that's hybrid. interspecies that's with a species that's species meant to have children. That has nothing to do with me. And so, uh, is so, she uh, getting agitated? Yeah, she's getting agitated and she's like... She brings up an arm and it's a claw and it's like flaming. And it's like, do you really understand what I am? You know, I can barely I control can barely this. Con I can barely, you know, one day I might just go insane. So she's got her arm as like a claw, and I just light one arm on fire and the other arm yeah, into like a rock. That's like, uh... It's like, so what happens now? I don't know. Some people are hunting you. Maybe the wrong way. So likely they're looking for me. Just uh I kinda just left their audience chamber without asking. I thought about doing that, but other things happened. And now I'm here. Yeah, so And then uh Darrow kinda just shot Hamels up and he's like, Mm hmm. Pardon my interruption, but I I think you have visitors and he's pointing towards the the gate. Or he's pointing towards where you walked in. Hello, do you do you know anything about teleportation? <laughs> okay, so hold on, I gotta deploy the enemies first. So you see that there's uh there is a squad of black dragon lancers that are coming in. There's like six of them. Wait, I I like just yeah. think of this and then have a double take and just like wait. Isn't this place watered from spirits? As I turn back to here. Okay. Well, isn't it what? Watered from spirits? Isn't this place watered from spirits? It's like, no, like, you, no, you put an end to that. At huh? least that's what the spirits that's... tell me. So, and you can see the, the Black see... Dragon Lancers, uh, like, they have their rifles raised, and it's like, uh, step aside. How's <laughs> off. Say what? Buzz off. Buzz off. It's like this is official business. We need to, you know, we need to bring her back to the palace. That's they're talking about pay. I know what you think you need to do, but I don't think you're going to do it for a good reason. Uh, and she, it's like he doesn't even. They don't preamble. So she goes right over to pay. And he's got his rifle raised, and well, he like, kind of I, I'm in the way. Okay, I'm you just keep blocker. So, and then I guess Chi does the same. And it's like, are you really going to resist? Is this really going to happen right here? 
Um. Hmm. I was like, do you know that you're not the only one. So you're not the only one who's riding on this. Your friend is also the one who's riding on this. But before he starts speaking, I like made a hole in the ground. Like I'm at least okay. trying to do magic. Do one hundred. What's the and hole we've just, for? Like, we've we've just started dropping down. Okay, so you're dropping further into the cave. All of you. Are they able to? Like they, not, not and you, you, you could seal the like seal you're dropping in, but you're sealing the hole as soon as they get, and they're like left. Let's see. Do you hear it? You don't hear that, but they were shooting at the dirt that you just fell into. But they they can't get to you. So, can you hear any of their conversation? Just uh, do one hundred. So you drop down. No, you can't hear any of the conversation. So you drop down and you drop into a tunnel, another uh, another tunnel exit. And Pace, like, you know, that wasn't actually the wisest idea. I know, but it'll be fun now. It's like, what is it with you adventurous and dangerous fun? Why does your fun have to be so destructive to everything around you? It's not the danger. It's, um, you know, up it to the man. Okay. Okay, we should start moving. We'll probably catch up soon. And so, it's like, where are we going to go? I mean, this, uh, this whole city is monitored. Well, I doubt they expected someone able to do what I just did. Okay. That's like, or that, or they're just simply allowing it to happen. You didn't hear the shooting? Yeah. Wait, what? We should Wait, be moving. <laughs> you didn't hear the shooting as we left? Okay, yeah, just, um... So, like, uh, okay, which direction are you going to move? You have two paths to go down. Two left to right. Left to right. I like right, because right is right. Alright. Right. Alright. So, so you decide to go to the right. So, right again. Do a D100. So, problem, you didn't drop that far, and they're able to catch up with you. You drop down maybe a uh, floor or so, but they're able to, there was a side tunnel on, like, <laughs> you actually went the wrong way. If you had gone left, you wouldn't have re-encountered them, but since you went right, it's, they found you faster. So, I'm like, you see them, they, they, they have rifles, like, they're charging with, right, with their lances drawn, ready to shoot, and then one of them's, like, pointing that way, and then they double time it. I, I immediately put up a wall the moment I see them. Do you want to? Okay, so there's a wall. Is it able to be... That is not able to be penetrated, but they do try to shoot at you. Like, they do try to shoot through the wall, but it's not doing anything. Because it's solid earth. Okay, not that way. Okay, so let me draw up the black wall. Can you hear from the other side of the wall? So, no. So, now which way? Um, so, like, Pace, like, why are we running from them again? I doubt they have the best intentions. That's like, you're assuming a lot in that. <laughs> and you're making it <laughs> worse making and worse it? the more you resist. They're the ones who offered violence. That's like, they were just, it's like, do you know black dragons at all? That's how they approach everything. I know. That's why I don't really like them that much. And resisting just makes them want to kill you more. I'm not resisting, I'm running. It's like you're, it's like you're fleeing from armed guards. How is that not resisting? Well, the, the word is fleeing. And it's like, and, uh, and like arrows like budding, and it's like, you know, the lady has you there. Resistance implies I'm being violent towards them. It's like not to them. Well, then they are uh, confusing people in date. Let's be moving. Okay. That's like, she just shakes her head. It's like, no. And she just walks, like, she walks up to the wall and she starts burning a hole through it. That's like, you can run if you want. I'm not going to run anymore. Ah, uh, but I 
I have so many questions. So you can run if you want. Like she's, you know, you can run if you want. I'm not gonna. It's like, but if you're going, like she's slowly burning a hole through the wall. It's like, but if you're going to run, you better do it now, because if you don't, then they'll likely just take you back. Okay, so you're gonna run. Okay, so. I was like, I can guide you out of the city. I know some of these tunnels. I've had time to simply... It's like, when you're dead, you don't have much time to do much else. <laughs> so, I can help you out of this tunnels. So, pay is like... Are you looking back at all? Um... Yep. Yeah, so, like, you're, you're at a safe vantage point now, and you see that pay has got her hands up. And she's explaining to them that, you know, she was taken, like, she was, um, you know, she just got taken a little bit against her will by you, because she didn't actually want to run. And so, and they are, they're in agreement, but at the same time they say they haven't lowered their rifles. You can see through the, the hole she burnt out. And you see that, like, they're taking up a phalanx position around her, and they're, like, escorting her out of the tunnel. No, they just don't give a fuck about me. Nope. That's they so came crazy. here for one objective, and that was her. They didn't care about you. It's like this, uh... Maybe that's why they let you in, for all you know. Shrug. Okay, so... Arrow doesn't have any idea either way, but he knows how to get you out of here. So, do you want to just fast... Uh, do you want to fast forward, do an encounter, and just find a... see if you encounter anything while in these dark tunnels? Of course you do. <laughs> Uh, I'm just seeing if it's draconic or not. It is not draconic, so there are things in these tunnels. Things that maybe the dragons don't even know about. Interesting. Yeah, so... Let's see what we got. So you see a bunch of like you turn around and there's a pack of ghouls behind you because you were, remember you guys were focusing on, on pay and such while she was getting taken away and you guys didn't really hear the ghouls coming out. So there's a pack of six of them. At least this is is this the initial six? You have a feeling there's going to be more than just six ghouls down here. Oh no, I've got an idea who made these tunnels. Okay. What do you mean? There are ghouls down here. Yeah. So... And so Arrow's like, I don't think the dragons know they have a ghoul infestation. He doesn't know about these tunnels either. It seems that they may have overlooked something. It's like, or maybe not, I mean. Well, let's say like, it's like... So, it's like, I think you should be, and he's like pointing, it's like, I can't really do anything against them. I think you should be focusing on not dying to those. So, and oh, the ghoul, do a D100. You have the ability to not get bound by the ghouls initially. <laughs> so, yeah, so they're going to do a leap charge, and you have a defense, you have defensive actions. So, critical fail, you're going to be on a high defensive position. Let's see, is that counter? You can counterattack. So, how many can so leap many at? Can Let's see, they're going to, can they leap past arrow? They, can, they can't leap at arrow because he's not there. So, you're going to have a counterattack chance against two of them, and she's going to have the counterattack chance against two of them, and then the other two are going to be in the back. So I'll roll some. Uh, you have two. You can counterattack once per enemy because you're prepared. So that's pretty much insta kill damage because that's way over their threshold. So you turn their attack against them and you simply whip out your scythe. Is there anything fancy about it, or are you just doing just uh, dismissive slicing? So like one of them jumps at me. I just like cut him in half and he flies over me in two pieces. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. What about the other, the other one? one? There's the other two of them jumping at you. The other one, like as I'm sort of pulling back, I just like put the um 
the wooden part of my scythe just pointing towards him and he just like impales himself. Impales himself how? On the um stave. Oh. Okay, so okay. you just you put the wooden end out as he's leaping so that he impales himself on it. Yeah. Okay. So he's impaled on it, now what? <laughs> it's still trying to it's grab at you. Um I throw it aside into a wall. Yeah, so you just, but it's still technically it's still moving after that. It so it got impaled through the chest or through the head. What did you impale it though? Um it's still trying to grab it, you should likely you impaled likely it through the chest, so... Yeah. I guess after that I stab it or something. The, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, and, like, um... She is, like, she's fought a bunch of undead before, so all she does is she just neck slices really quickly, and just then two of them just topple over. So, there's two more in the back, what are you gonna do about them? I say, boo. Say what? I say boo. Okay. And they're like, eh, and then just they just turn around and run the other way. Um, I check these guys for dark magic. It's like, ah, oh, you're getting okay. nuts, no, arrow, arrow. Before you're you're about to check, and then arrow comes out of nowhere. It's like, ah, oh, you're getting better at that. Good. Shrug. Okay. It's just muscle okay, memory so. now. A bunch of ghouls. Yeah, I um, yeah, I try and check with the top magic. That is. Do you have a Do you have a button for that? Nope. No, I gotta do. I gotta put that button on. That's <laughs> the occult button. That's literally what it's called. Okay, so you're checking in for occult magic. There is pretty much dark sorcery around here. Uh, does uh, she have does insight? She... she has a little bit of insight, but not much. It's just, you know, do you think this has something to do with the amount of black dragons in the area? I mean, they emanate dark energy, so it makes sense that they would reanimate the dead. Um, just yeah, maybe just as a maybe side as effect. A side. That. And she that shrugs, it's like, I, what do I know? I'm just a warrior. I'm not a, I'm not a scientist. You're the scientist. I'm not a scientist, I'm a farmer. It's like, whatever, you... <laughs> it's like, well, you know more about things that come from the Earth than I do. Shrug. That's so. And it's like, well, if you're done debating on who's got the, the most brains, then I guess we should move on now. <laughs> Good idea. Okay, so, so Arrow's, like, leading you this way. I'll roll another encounter. Is there anything else you're going to encounter before uh, you get out of this cave? Uh, no. So you'll get out, and you'll actually be exiting the city, like... You will not encounter any more resistance, because Arrow's gonna guide you through it so that you won't encounter any more dragons. So... Does Arrow have any insight? Arrow's, Arrow knows exactly what's going on. It's like, well... If I had to guess, you served your purpose, and they're simply allowing you to leave. Because from what I take it, Pei said they were looking for her for something. Hmm. So, like, you're exiting the city and it's like, uh, are you, are you sure you wish to leave, though? I mean, she may be in danger. Is she not one she of your friends? Well, I'll have to count on Sains for that. It's like, yes, I guess I'll have to go... Wait, uh, wait, Sains? <laughs> you say? Yeah, is in there. You mean that, uh... That blue person, uh, boning that, uh, mantis person, and... That's, that's uh, really all I remember of him. You're, you're dead. You don't, you don't have dementia anymore. It's like, uh, oh, sure I do. But, uh... Wait, he's dead, he doesn't have to adventure anymore. No, he doesn't have dementia anymore. Oh, he doesn't have dementia anymore? It's like, yes, yeah, so I guess I am just making that up. <laughs> it's like, I have to have some sort of fun. <laughs> it's not very fun being dead. <laughs> it's nothing to do. I guess this is why spirits haunt the living. <laughs> it's actually quite amusing. Yeah, if you say so. It's like, very well. And then he just kind of dematerializes. 
Okay, so that means you're being moved to the world map. And then we will take a break in a minute. Let me just move us to the, let me move the character to the world map. Maybe I should edit these videos. I'll think about it. Part of me says, nah, just keep it unedited. Give them uh, the exact expression to what we do. Uh, roll a d2. Where did you end up? Like, where did these long underground tunnels lead you? Okay, you are in the swamp somewhere. Like, you come out and you see that you're in the, you're in the Deadfoot Marshes. So that tunnel took you... Uh, let me see if I actually put you on the... Nope, I did not. My apologies. Hey, Deadfoot Mar you end up in the Deadfoot Marshes. The moment we exit, I say, Impenetrable city, my ass. Wait, what? The moment we, like, get out into, like, open air, I say, Impenetrable city, my ass. I didn't think they expected that their entire undercity was covered by tunnel networks. Isn't that why they called in a security breach? Yep. It's like likely that won't. So it's like likely that tunnel won't stay sealed for long. Won't stay hidden for long. Hmm. So it's like, and she's she's smiling. It's like, why did they get the feeling they used you? Maybe they knew about the breach. They just needed someone to confirm it. That would have been easy enough on their own. Yeah. So. Hold on, let me... the, the D100's going. It's like, what if they just needed proof and nobody was willing to get the proof? You basically proved that, you know, there are ghouls down there. They'll find those bodies. Then they're either lazy or incompetent relying on someone like me. It's like, maybe... It's like, I think I'll go with lazy. I mean, what dragon wants to spend his time underneath exploring caves? Who huh. wants to actually Ooh. spend their time underneath exploring caves? Well, there is a spelunking profession. It's like, yes, yeah, it's like, <laughs> just... Alright, we got a long hoof, we have a long way to walk. Hmm, wait a minute. 